I think it sets an example for starters. It tells women, it shows women that women can hold positions of power, and I think that's um, that's an important thing. I think it um, makes a difference to decision making. Um, all the research that's been done into how boards make decisions indicates that if you've got diversity on your board, women, not just women, but people of different ages, people of different genders, people of different ethnic backgrounds, uh, you get better, better decision making. So I think um, anything that we can do to mix up the mix. Um, and I think local council was traditionally the um, bastion of the older white male. So anything that we can do to break down that stereotype I think is also really important. There's also been um, some research done into the role women play in city making. And often the built form is, um, is made by men. Um, particularly in a, an older city, and the heritage buildings would have all been built by men. Um, women play a role in the considerations about the spaces between the buildings sometimes. And, and I think having women on the council means that we do give that consideration. I'm not saying that's a bit of a gender stereotype, but, but I, I'm, so I'm not saying men aren't interested in that. But, um, but I do think women have a particular interest in it because we, uh, we use those outdoor spaces. I'm just looking at a child over there playing in the, in the fountain. You know, if we've got spaces that are children friendly, then they're, they're usually friendly for everybody. So we, the women on council, I think, bring that perspective too. Well, we started out pretty well. <laughs> um, but I think we had a big lull, actually, to be honest. And, so when I was elected to council, which was only six years ago, the council was about almost 175 years old at that stage, and I was the 19th woman to be elected uh, as a representative on council. That means we were grossly underrepresented for 175 years. We've only reached 50-50 in last year. Last year? Was it last year? Yeah, last year. Um, so um, I, we're getting there now. But I think we had a, a huge period where we were completely underrepresented. I'd be very disappointed if we went backwards from here. Um, so you never know, and I think that's also about encouraging women to stand up. Um, because one, the fact that I was the 19th woman is not the fault of the blokes only. That's the fault of, that's, I mean, women also have to take some responsibility for that. Um, for not putting their names forward, for not standing up, for not putting themselves um, forward for election. And I think the more of us who do it, the more people will see that it's doable. And I hope that that, you know, that trend absolutely continues. Uh, well, by doing it, for starters, I think you know, part, one of the reasons I stood was because when um, someone talked to me about whether I should you know, encourage me to stand, and I said, well, you know, why would anybody want to do that? And they, had a, they said, have a look at how many women are standing. And at that stage, there were, um, I, it was in the lead up to an election. About 30 people had put their hat in the ring at that stage and only three were women. So I thought, well, I can't just sit back here and just keep thinking well, someone ought to do it. I'll do it. Um, so I think getting up and standing up and actually putting yourself out there is one way of showing some leadership and, and inspiring others to do it. Um, I, I do want to add, though, that I, I really think um, I think local government is a great place for women to, to have a go at, at leadership positions, and, um, and I really like and, and take every opportunity I can to say to people, really give some consideration to it. So I think it's actually also you know, going to individual women and saying, think about it, think about this as a, as a career option. Because I've learnt more from being on council than I've learnt in any other role that I've ever had. Um, and I've been, I've, I'm much better at the other parts of my life, my other working life, as a consequence of being a councillor and of the skills I've learnt of being a councillor. So I think it's, um, it's a huge professional development opportunity actually. And so I, I you know, often will say to women, give it some thought. Um, so yeah, there are ways that I try and do it by, by doing it myself and by talking to other people about the opportunity that it provides. Can I just make one comment? We had a, um, a session last year as part of the celebration of having 50-50 women on council. And we invited a number of the old female councillors back, the 18 that had been before me. And they spoke about the way they were treated in the chamber. And it was incredible. Um, men, 
not responding in any way to their comments in the chamber. They'd let the women stand up and speak, and then they would just the women would sit down, and the men would not reference their comments at all. They just make it, they're just completely ignoring them. At times, making faces, making gestures, doing you know appalling behaviour. Um, so those days are completely gone. So I think we do you know we can walk in as equals, and we're treated with equal respect, and that is a fantastic thing. And and it's new. Surprisingly, it's relatively new. Um, but there are huge opportunities, I think, for us to do better still. I think continuing representation at local government level, um, continuing representation... I mean, Adelaide City Council's doing pretty well in this, but there are a number of councils that aren't. So I think local government getting its act together is, is the important thing. But I also think it's really important at state and national level. I was horrified when Tony Abbott announced a, a Cabinet of whatever it was, with one woman and said that it was all chosen on merit. And I think if that's your understanding of merit, you've completely misunderstood what women bring to the table. So I think, you know, we've got a long way to go in, in um, the, those seats of power. Uh, and I think we've also got a fair way to go in terms of um, uh, women on, uh, in, co in, in, the, in the private sector. Getting, uh, I'm a lawyer by training, getting women um, as partners in law firms, getting women on boards more generally. It's, it's, you can get on a, um, a government board, but it's quite hard to get on a, a, a proper corporate sector uh, board. So there's still plenty to do, plenty to do, yeah. We're on the right track. We're on the right track, though, <laughs> yeah.